The struggle of the native Africans against apartheid and their dream of racial equality becomes a reality under the leadership of Nelson Mandela. On a path to freedom, it's Canberra Church of England Girls Grammar School combined with Canberra Grammar School. I'm going like...
Ladies and gentlemen, Canberra Church of England Girls Grammar combined with Canberra Grammar School. Youth Access Centres are places for young people who want information and advice about jobs, education and training, health, housing, money or personal problems. As an associate sponsor, YAKS applaud the Rock Estetford for giving youth the opportunity to learn new skills in such a creative, proactive environment. Ladies and gentlemen, I've heard how loud you are. Put your hands together for Canberra Church of England. Girls Grammar combined with Canberra Grammar School. How did you choose the theme? Well, we wanted to choose a theme that um, was really relevant to everyone that was in the news and stuff. Tara and I came up with a few ideas um, which we managed to combine into what you saw tonight, the history of South Africa. Um, we also wanted to choose... We, are, we also wanted to choose something <laughs> that would enable us to do some really exciting and energetic choreography that was fun to do and fun to watch. And it was. Well, you mentioned the choreography. Who did it all for you? Um, the choreography uh, was done by our two dance captains, Alicia and Tara. This is Alicia. And Tara's the other guard over there. And they choreographed the dance with the help from a couple of other students. And um, they put a lot of hard work into the dance. And it was difficult for us because um, we don't have dance as a subject at Grandma. And <laughs> so... So all our rehearsal time was out of school and this combined with the fact that um, not many of the girls in the Estedford tonight have any formal dance training made it hard, but it was good fun. You wouldn't have thought you had no formal dance training, you did really well. So what was involved in organising backstage? Well. Karis, my co-captain, and I, we got together with Alicia and Tara and we talked about what kind of set we wanted. And then we went about with Backstage and designed it all. We recycled a lot of props from previous years and added new ones. Um, we also designed all the costumes along with Alicia and Tara and recycled a lot of um, former props and costumes for them. We also, a Year 12 student, Amanda, organised all the fundraising which everyone in Backstage and Rocker Sedford was involved in. Thank you. Well, come on, tell us, what were the procedures involved in creating this particular rock at Stedford? Um, well, we held auditions in February of this year, um, but Alyssa and I had already been working on ideas and choreography since the beginning of the Christmas holidays. Um, we chose 80 dancers and a team of 20 for, back for backstage, and from there we began rehearsals eight hours a week, which is four times a week, and it was a lot of hard work, but um, it paid off because it was tremendous fun. Okay, well, let's see what the judges thought of tonight's performance. First up, Roland Manderson. Powerful, dynamic, disciplined, exhilarating, a blast. That was fantastic. I love the design, I love the way you use the stage, it's a really good look with simple staging, we all know that simplicity is actually deceptive and a lot of work went into even into assembling all the pieces that you use so well on the stage. The giant Nelson Mandela, Mandela I think we can maybe sell him off to South African Embassy as well just to fundraise for your next contribution. It looked like so much fun when you were dancing too, that was a great thing about it and in fact when the white colonials really created that atmosphere of threat, um, you know, and um, which I found it a bit eerie that there I was cheering them as they sort of incarcerated all the blacks. But that was partly because of the enthusiasm and the excitement and the sort of the and the, the energy of all your dancing. The use of the different groups and the different movements and keeping that all comprehensible to us in the audience was brilliant. I thought it was great the way you used the different groups across the stage. And congratulations to you, the sort of the, the creators of that for doing that one. 
Um, and, uh, you know, my, I mean, I just bet that the black South Africans would, you know, would have liked apartheid to have ended that quickly and to have been that much fun for them. Congratulations to you all on your commitment um, and your enthusiasm and the achievement. Thank you, Roland. Kevin, what are your thoughts? It's, it's a pain in the neck going after Roland because he really says all the good things to say. I agree with Roland. The great scenery that, given the artistic rendition of the presence and importance of the man and what he's doing and what's happening in South Africa at the moment. I enjoyed the smooth interchange of characters. I thought the state police chasing the natives around uh, was a very effective image. I thought your use of the area that you've been allocated was innovative. A uh, good example of that was marching behind the cages. That was a, an interesting way to enter the stage. There was a bit of a thrill went up my spine at the moment of liberation. Uh, that celebration of joy at the end was uplifting and inspirational. Uh, well done. Thanks, Kevin. Paige Gordon, what were your thoughts for tonight's performance? I thought that was wonderful. It truly was a performance with impact. The beginning image was striking. Uh, the energy was upbeat to match the music. The various movements representing the Africans and the military were strong. Um, I also admired the use of stillness. Uh, I have a lasting image of the figures behind the bars yeah. to contrast with the final energetic scenes. Uh, all, all in all, though, it was a very well thought out concept and extremely well presented. Well done. Thank you. You guys have got a, a great GS squad here tonight. Alicia, you have some... Uh... You got some thank yous for this evening? I'd like to thank Mrs. Hamill, our teacher, for just coming and supporting us during rehearsals and for being there. And to thank everyone for coming. You've just been fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies. They're tough.